We are only three weeks away from the official release date of MK11 and what better way to celebrate that than to reveal three new characters in a single combat cast. We come from different worlds, Johnny. Aren't you from Earth Realm too? I mean, I come from the real world. So we're gonna start with Liu Kang who hasn't changed much from MK9 and MKX both in looks and in moves. For instance, his martial arts moves, particularly his fast kicks, have been retained and can be combined with classic Liu Kang moves such as the flying or the bicycle kick. Speaking of classical moves, I really like the fact that almost each one can be amplified which eventually leads to a crushing blow. Probably the most interesting new feature that was added to his arsenal are his nunchucks, which have returned for the first time since Mortal Kombat Armageddon, so it's really interesting to see an element being brought back from a 3D era game. There have also been new moves that have been added such as the teleport punch which actually looks amazing and has several variations, including an overhead teleport, a sweep or a simple punch. Moving on to Kung Lao, his classic Kung Fu combat style is back and it looks better than ever. Human or Revenant, one thing is constant. My penchant for deadly headwear. Your overheated ego. One thing that I noticed about Liu Kang is that he uses his hat more often in his combos than in any previous game. Just like Liu Kang, Kung Lao can also teleport which is complemented with either a throw or an overhead that resembles Raiden's electric fly. Now Kung Lao's hat throw has a ton of new variations in this game. In fact, you can now even have control of it and decide where and when to throw it. So keeping your opponent away should not be a problem when choosing this character. Last but not least, we've got ourselves Jax who I really thought would not be in MK11. How about you turn yourself in? No chance, Briggs. Then I'll turn you inside Damn. out. When it comes to physical combat, he retains his wrestling style which relies on grabs, throws, combined with the good old gotcha grab, which also has new variations. One of the new interesting features that was added to him is that as he lands more and more punches, his arms get more heated which increases the damage caused by each punch. Finally, a grenade launcher was added to his arsenal which he uses in his awesome fatal blow. Alright, this is it for this video, let me guys know who your favorite is out of these three characters. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.